What is up everybody? Welcome back to the episode of Read on the Fly where we do every single thing outdoors. Today is the first of many trips of 2020 up to Wisconsin. We're kind of planning it in a couple days. I think it was like a Wednesday or Thursday. Like, hey, we're doing this weekend. Nothing really going on. Weather's looking beautiful up north. Let's pack up the car head up yonder. So that's what we're going to be doing today. I think the high is going to be like upper 50s, low going to be in the 40s. So it's going to be perfect for a little bit of fishing, a little bit of hiking, just hanging out. Might have a little campfire. Stay in an Airbnb, kind of tucked in the hills. It's going to be a pretty fun weekend. But uh, while we're up there too, um, I'm going to be turkey hunting up there in probably middle of May. Me and a couple other good buddies, Sauce Beards and Clayton. Uh, and I want to go up there and kind of just drive around, do a little scouting, get a little familiar with the uh, terrain, and kind of just scope out some good parking areas. We're hunting all public land, so this is going to be kind of a uh, new experience for myself. I've never hunted public land quite like this, especially on the state, so I'm definitely looking forward to it. So, I think we're going to finish packing the car, grab some hot java, and uh, we'll see you on the road. y'all so we are finally up here in Wisconsin before we went up any further I wanted to stop at one of my honey holes I usually hit up this bridge almost every time I uh wow the water looks super freaking low yeah this is usually one of my spots I hit up every time I come cruising through it's a uh it's a producer but the water is looking pretty pretty low but very clear oh yeah there's a trout right there I mean, you guys can see it. There are trout in there. I just saw probably two of them darting around here. Yeah, you guys, I don't know if you guys can see it. Another one. There is usually always trout in this stream. I think I've only been skunked like once fishing here. So hopefully I don't get skunked now. It'll be nice to get the first trout of uh, 2020. I'm gonna put the camera down, throw on a GoPro, and uh, it's wet line. All right, so I'm throwing a pretty heavy quarter ounce Bass Pro spinner. Picked up a couple of these yesterday. They had them on sale for 197, so I bought like 10. I like to throw the heavier spoons this time of year too, because it seems like these fish are pretty deep. I don't know if you guys can tell, but there's like a deep pocket right here where usually trout will hide out in. Oh, fish on. Had a bite. Had a bite. Kind of let that do a little dead drift. Little brownie. Oh yeah, first trout of 2020. Man, this dude's a freaking devil right now. Look at him. First trout of 2020. Nice little stick of Wisconsin butter. Dude, these fish are seriously part of my favorite to catch. Cause they are like little, this packs of dynamite. There we go guys. Go and give him a little release back into the drink. Oh, kind of rough landing, but there he goes. Last cast before I start making my way back up from the bridge. 
I don't mind that cast. Let's do one more. Cool little um, Airbnb with a little modern twist. Take the fridge to see what's in here. Ooh. A little less sodium soy sauce. It's got the uh, old wood burning stove. One bedroom. This thing like a mud room. Laundry room. Bathroom. Go up the stairs. To a uh, another bedroom. It just kind of overlooks the uh, kind of overlooks the road and the hills and everything. There, and I know that there is a creek kind of right up in here, which I have tried to fish, and there's nothing in there for fishing. So yeah, this is going to be our home for the next 16 or so hours till tomorrow morning. So I think we're gonna kind of do a light unpacking, get, excuse me, settled in, head into town, grab some supplies, bring it back here, make a little dinner, kind of just hang out for the night. They did some rearranging in here. They got rid of some stuff, Taylor. Just found the store, not sure where it goes. Let's, uh, let's see what it's all about. Like this is the Blair Witch Project. <gasps> wow, that's uh, that's pretty strange. Oh, this looks like a little uh, furnace room. That's pretty cool. I don't really want to stay down there too much longer, so uh, let's get back up there. All right, so nighttime has fallen here in the hills. Uh, we went to the store, changed our plans, did not get any food to make dinner, but we stopped by this bomb Mexican restaurant, got some Mexican food to bring back to the uh, little cabin. So I want to show you guys what we got. Also, we have a big pile of wood back there somewhere there. I'm gonna start gathering up a couple couple pieces, and we're gonna get this uh, wood burning stove rolling because because nothing beats the sound and the warmth of a good old fashioned wood burning stove. So, I got a uh, burrito. There's a burrito center, somewhere right there. The... Burrito Pacifico. It's got like, steak, shrimp, pineapple, and chorizo in there. Yeah. They're gonna end the uh, end the first portion of the video right here. You'll be seeing me next. You'll be seeing all the fish. Taylor next tomorrow catching all the fish. But anyway, um, yeah, gonna end it right here. See y'all tomorrow. It is a beautiful, sunny, bluebird sky day here in southwest Wisconsin. Drink some coffee, ate some breakfast, threw in a clean pair of underwear. I'm ready to start my day. All right, so we're at the first uh, parcel of land. And as you can tell behind me, it is very uh, hilly. Um, a lot of good hardwoods. And I think there is a water source down here somewhere. I think that this is like two or three thousand acres of 100% uh, public land that anybody can enjoy. So
found evidence of other hunters out here. All right, so did a little scout, and I'm not going to show. <laughs> I'm not going to show all of the uh, property and land that we scouted, just because I don't want to keep that under wraps until the day of the hunt. So um, found a couple nice little uh, waypoints and some easements that uh, I think I want to hit up this uh, this May. But we're just now stopping at a cheese shop, going to get a nice little uh, Wisconsin cheese haul. Taylor's eating some pickles. So uh, this is always a must stop when we're uh, traveling through. Uh, one of our favorite little towns here. She's the month, Menage. At stream number one this is a personal favorite of mine i caught many fish here i want to throw on the gopro get the backpack get the rods taylor's joining me the camera that i am filming on right now uh, it's about to die so i might be filming on the gopro for the rest of the video so i love wisconsin all right so we're walking down to our stream and this spot has a special place for taylor too because this is underneath that cottonwood is where she caught her first trout so hopefully we can get you a, a trout on film. Water's looking a little stained. Dude, this water is so muddy. It's pretty crazy how yesterday I was fishing in that uh, one creek and it was crystal clear. Simply Safe is calling me. Hello. All right, guys. So as you can tell, uh, I am not, or we are not on the stream anymore. Our trip was kind of ended short, uh, probably like two or three casts in. We got a phone call. I got a phone call from Simply Safe, which is like a home security uh, um, thing and system. system. <laughs> yeah. By the way, Taylor's back here somewhere. Where you at? Right here. <laughs> <laughs> but anyway. Uh, they called and saying that one of our alarms was going off, like our front door uh, sensor, was our front triggered. door sensor was triggered. Our alarm was going off, so the lady called me, which is she was super nice, super professional. I forgot her name, but she was like, "Hey, do you want us to dispatch the police? Your alarm is going off, so we're freaking out." I call up my pops. He goes over there and checks it out, and like the front door is open, our back gate was wide open. So, like, all right, as much as we want to stay up here and fish, I think the responsible thing is to go home and see what's going on. So, long story short, Dad said, hey, yeah, that was my bad. I left the door unlocked to kind of crack before I left your house the previous night. So, our guess is our little cat, Miko, might have went in there and kind of propped the door open. Hopefully. Tripping. Hopefully, yeah. Hopefully, that's the case. Hopefully, uh, that was it, but tripped the alarm. So, anyway... We are hungry, we're starving, so we stopped over here at Freddy's Frozen Custards and Steak Burgers, which I think we need a little something, something to chew on after that little stressful and eventful uh, little 20, 30 minutes stream side. It was a fun trip, did a little bit of fishing, caught the first shot of 2020, did a little scouting on some uh, public land for turkeys, uh, which the video for turkey season will be coming up probably in uh, mid to late May. Uh, got a couple juicy spots I want to hit up while I'm up there. And uh, it was a fun trip up to Wisconsin. It's the first of many of 2020. But so I'm going to end the video here. I'm going to get our grub on and uh, finish the last leg of this trip. So hope you guys enjoyed this video of Read on the Fly. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Until next time, see ya.